Hi guys, welcome to Sasumi's YouTube channel. My name is Solomon Gift, and on this channel, we talk about everything relating to cryptocurrencies and blockchains and dApps. So today, guys, we'll be looking at the Matian wallet. So for those that don't know, the Matian wallet is actually a new wallet that is actually built on the Aptos blockchain, built to support blockchains that are developed with Move programming language and also dApps that are developed with Move programming language, at least for now. So guys, um, so far so good. We have reviewed some wallets that have been built to support the Move programming language and blockchains like MCU and Aptos. And this is about the fourth or fifth wallet that we'll be looking at. So guys, here on my screen, you can see this the address, martianwallet.xyz. And I'll be walking you through how to easily download this. So for those that have watched the previous videos about um, other wallet services, built for the Aptos or SU blockchain, you should be able to understand how this works easily. So all you want to do here is you can go to download or add to browser and you can also take out your time to view doc. So this is this Matian wallet is currently not available on Google Play or iOS but it's currently only available on Chrome browser as an extension. So you can take out your time to see some of the features here but it's the very basic things like you can be able to buy tokens, send and manage your NFTs, also mint. Then you can also be able to stake. This here is something that some other Aptos related wallet services do not have. So at least on Matian, you can stake and also earn APT. But for other wallet services that we've reviewed so far, you can't really do that. So, so far, so good. Seems the most robust is um, actually um, Matian wallet and future wallet so you can also check the video on future wallet so here you can see them talking about aptos and move programming language then you can check out their privacy details and some other stuff so let's jump straight to downloading this wallet so next you'll be clicking on download and that will take us straight to the chrome extension so you can see they already have over 500,000 users so that shows you that so many persons are very cool with this wallet whereas for some others you'll be seeing less than 10,000 users and for some others too you'll see less than 100,000 users so it's no surprise that um, Matian Aptos wallet has over 500,000 users it just means that they are doing extremely well and people love the interface but we'll see that for ourselves shortly alright so we have the Matian wallet already installed as a Chrome extension so next what you want to do is either create a wallet or import an existing wallet so you can import any of your initial wallets that you've created on the Aptos blockchain you can actually import it here or you can simply create a new wallet so let's just create a new wallet for those that don't have any wallets next you need to impute the password afterwards you need to copy your recovery freeze or write it down preferably and you need to keep it safe next you need to set up notifications so you can also add Aptos notifications that should be sent to your wallet and you can also add them um, topaz so we haven't reviewed topaz yet but we'll do that in a different video so afterwards you can click continue so for those watching this and for those that have also watched the previous wallets that we have actually reviewed you would notice that um, Matian wallet is slightly different and has a bit more functionalities okay so here you can see one last thing you can open Matian at any time by using this handy keyboard shortcut so you can make use of a combination of alternate shifts and X pretty interesting so next then you can choose to join their discord or follow them on Twitter so with that the Matian wallet has been set up so next you need to open it so here's the wallet and you need to impute your password just to unlock so here on the wallet as you can see you can be able to buy and send up to tokens and we are currently on the main net so you can switch from dev to testnet and mainnet 1, 2 or 3 although the recommended is mainnet 1 
so here's the notification bell and you can see some of the notification that you've received so far so you can see from Topaz, from Actus and from Matian now you can also manage the notifications here to toggle on and off to clear you can do all of that then next you can be able to add a token and search for the coin you have different tokens here so you can see usdc usdt running on seller and you can see the tokens running on aptos and so many others you can see from wormhole you can see from avalanche and so much more so let's just assume we're adding near near wormhole which is like the breed near from true wormhole so you can just add this token now for this you need to confirm so thus we have no aptos in this wallet because we just created it so we won't be able to add this because you need a small amount of aptos to be able to confirm this transaction so you need it for gas fees to pay for the transaction so we'll skip that but now you can see how you can easily add tokens so next this is for nfts you can click on receive and share your address to receive nft so you can set up receive and you also need a transaction fee for this so no token no tokens in our wallets no apps in our wallets so we can't do any of that here's the activities which shows you the log of all transactions and here you can browse apps that are currently built on the aptos blockchain so you can see aptos naming service blue move aptin and much more and guys we just covered a video on aptin which is a lending and borrowing protocol on aptos how to obtain airdrops so that video has been uploaded you can check the video out you can also see aptos swap and so many other dApps currently on aptos then you can also track your nft collection so you can see your current nft collections too so you can click on any of these just to view the collection and see how you can buy or claim any and next we have the wallet settings so you can see the account details secret phrase you can rotate key pair although this isn't available yet you can create a new wallet you can import wallet not yet available and you can go to aptos explorer and you can also work on the extensions here password network trusted apps always good to disconnect from any app you connect to notifications lock your wallet and social media activities you can track them here and you can also view their documentation terms of service and privacy so guys this pretty much summarizes the martian wallet and so far so good i feel impressed with what i'm seeing on the martian wallet and i think it's a very very good one too so for those that um, haven't tried it yet you can try and import your other wallet you created via other aptos wallet services like pontem wallet or petra wallet or any other you can simply just import it here rather than creating a new one it will still work perfectly the same way unless you just want to create a new one but you can always import so what's the aim of going through multiple wallet services most times it's because um some of these wallet services have um better ui and better functions and some haven't enabled some core functionalities so you being able to switch from one wallet service to another some support some dApps why some don't support some dApps so you being able to switch from one wallet to another is a pretty is a very very handy skill and it's something that is actually necessary to be able to interface with most dApps so i encourage you guys you can try this out simply by importing your keys or by creating a new wallet thanks very much guys for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button